Hey, it's Steve from Grand Prairie Nissan here. I'm gonna do that quick walkthrough video, or not really quick, but a walkthrough video of that 2020 Jeep Cherokee inquired about. It is the, I'll flip the camera around here. I'm gonna go pretty slow here, and we're gonna look for any like little marks. As you can see, there's a little tiny mark on the paint there. If I go back, you cannot see it at all. Like I did a walkthrough before just to see. As you can see, the tires are in all right shape. They're not, they're gonna get you a year or so worth of driving. Uh, as we walk through, you're going to see a few little rock chips on the front down here at the bottom. Again, I am trying to find everything, so I did walk around it first. So you see a couple more there on the grill, a couple down there. Nothing major in my opinion. You see another little chip there. And then there's going to be a couple across the front here. Like you see a couple right there by the Jeep logo. Uh, a couple sitting up here on the hood. And again, the only reason I can see them is because I walked through the vehicle prior to doing this video to make sure that I could point everything out to you so you know exactly what you're getting. It is white with the black rims and everything like that. It's blacked out badging. It looks really sharp. We are gonna take another quick look here. As you can see, there is a little tiny chip there. Nothing major at all in my opinion. So a little tiny scratch there on the door again we'll zoom back and show you how unnoticeable it is uh, as you can see down there you do get that pretty much on everything just because of the way fenders and stuff are designed uh, take a look at the inside see your power controls there it is like a half or three quarter leather i don't know exactly what you call it on the cherokee but it is very nice looking interior nice big glove box there and it does have the grand cherokee all-weather matting all the way through it so that's always nice a little better for cleanup and stuff as you can see that matting again and then the nice leather interior as you can see you do have a 110 volt and your climate control back here or not climate control but just your vents sorry uh middle seat does fold down so you do have those cup holders and the seats do fold down flat to get you that extra storage uh, we are gonna keep walking as you can see another little mark right there oh that one's just dirt so we'll get that detailed out um, there is a little mark here by the exhaust I'm just gonna try and show you it's nothing major and then right here you can see a couple little scuffs right here so maybe it's something I can throw a pen, paint pen in and everything's good right so take a look at the fob here. It does have unlock lock, open the hatch, and a remote start. It is equipped with a tow package, so you're gonna be able to tow those smaller trailers. I do like this, it does have that big cargo mat in the back, so you're never gonna really worry about getting, getting your vehicle dirty. It's gonna be a nice and easy cleanup. Uh, we'll take a look underneath where your spare tire is. Lots of storage in there, little cubbies and everything to put away your road safety gear. Uh, if we go over here, this is a quick release, one button in out. We're going to be able to take that out if we do need that extra cargo space. But if we are going somewhere and we're trying to hide away our cargo, when that hatch is closed, nobody's going to be able to see what you got in there. So I really like them, but I do understand some people just take them out and put them right in their garage. So whatever's going to work best for you. And we're just going to see a little tiny scuff right there. And then again on that same fender area, got a little bit of marking down there, but nothing major at all. As you can see, you can lock, unlock off from right here. Put my hand in behind, it unlocks it. Uh, we do have the power seat with the lumbar support. And then all our um, windows, mirrors, controls, everything right there. Your locking gas, your uh, fog lights, headlights, automatic headlights, always a great option. So we'll take a seat inside and as you can see it is a tilt telescopic so it goes in out up down everything like that lock it in get that perfect comfort as you can see your phone controls your up screen controls your cruise control settings everything like that so like over here we can scroll through and kind of change what we're looking at change everything that way so lots of options in these they're beautiful units. So we're gonna take a look in here. We're gonna see we do have that climate control, everything right there at the fingertips, eco mode, sport mode, 
parking assist, everything like that. We're going to take a look. <laughs> nice big backup camera. Very clear, good quality. Uh, if we go in here into our controls, we're going to see our heated seats and our heated steering wheel. We're actually able to pull up that backup camera even when we're in the park position to make sure that we're lined up, maybe hooking up a trailer or something like that. It makes it nice and easy. So shut that. And we'll just go. It does also have navigation, all your climate, your phone, Bluetooth, everything like that. Then we're going to look up here. We do have our sunroof controls. And then I'll flip it. So it's a nice, good size sunroof. It's not that pano sunroof. So a little easier in my my experience. Uh, those pano sunroofs are really expensive. And to be honest with you, like I had my last truck, I had a sunroof on it. I might have opened it twice in the four years I owned it. So I don't know. It's not something that I look for in a vehicle, but it is something some people like. This vehicle does currently have 96,000 kilometers, so we'll just go like that. And then I did forget to show the the terrain selectors. So you do have rock, mud, auto, sand, snow, and then your four-wheel drive low in case you ever do get stuck. Uh, and then the hill. So take a look at this video. I know it's pretty long. I just I like to get it detailed and make sure that you get to see everything of the vehicle. Uh, and if you don't like it, no problem. I'll see what else I have. I do have lots of options. So give me a call after you watch this.